What's up guys, my name is Jeffrey now. In today's video, I am going to be showing you one of the number one questions that people are asking in my comment section below on the Cricut Explorer Air 2 on how to create big logos uh, for your shirts or your hoodies or any other type of uh, apparel that you guys have. But like you guys already know, before you guys go ahead and watch the entire video of this sequence, what I need you guys to do is go ahead and please, man, just go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because it helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps us YouTubers out create more and it lets us know that you guys enjoy this quality of video and you guys just actually like to watch this stuff. All right, so I'm not going to go any longer. I want to keep this video nice and short and sweet for you guys. But let me first and go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. As in the number one question that I got was how do I create big, big logos like this on my clothing? And I'm going to tell you guys that it's not nothing new. It's not nothing crazy. I'm not using a uh, 10 foot uh, Explorer Cricut Air machine. I am using the actual regular 12 inch right here uh, that everyone gets with their Cricut Explorer. Now, the reason and how I am creating these big logos is I am maximizing the size on the board. You wanna make sure you go ahead and maximize the whole side on your Cricut Explorer cut board so that you can get the maximum length on there. Now, we're explaining on how I created this. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys really simple. It is how I got this whole design right here. I use this one board right here and I maximize it along with the words on the outside and the globe is on one cutting board. Now, if you can see this, I maximize the whole thing just for this globe and the words outside. So that whole thing fit on this one board. Now, people will look at this and be like, wow, this is one big logo in design. Well, what I want you guys to go ahead and think about is that remember, you have more vinyl paper, you have more paper to use. You don't have to have one big thing and stomp the whole and stamp the whole thing on one shirt. You can do it in pieces. That is why you guys gotta be able to go really good in the Cricut Explorer and their maker and use your creative ability to go ahead and piece your design together. So if you're asking how I got this whole piece together, I'll tell you, this is what I did. I basically, took my first piece, put this in the machine, let it cut, and then I stitched it off and pit it off like you know, and then I take another paper, another design, I place that on the board, and then I go ahead and create that, and after I place this on my heating press and it's done and it's cooled off, I'll go ahead and do this one right here. Or, if you have a big enough heat press, you can do them all separately and then do them all at the same time with the heat press. That is the same way I did this right here. I basically did this big one first, and then I did this one second. And then what I did was I took my flags that's around and I did that third. I pieced it together to make one big logo. So if you guys are wondering, how do you make a big logo on your clothing apparel? You guys are gonna have to do it in sections and piece it out. Just do the regular 12 uh, inch cutting board for the vinyl and piece it out separately. That is how you get a big design for the Cricut Explorer 2. So like I just said, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys got any more questions, please be sure to go ahead and write them down in the comment section. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and um, I will do another video in the future on the Cricut Explorer 2. That will let me know if you guys like it, if you guys hit that subscribe button and the like and the comment down below. So, au revoir, love you guys, peace.